Welcome back, everybody. What's going on? My name is Corey, also known as that TCG guy on the internet. You're watching Brewberg, and we're back with another deck tech video for you today. Joined by one of my favorite people in the Magic community, one half of the Filthy MTG Casuals, alongside Donnie, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Jen from Filthy MTG Casuals. Uh, we're here today. We're building one of the older Ronas. I think it's from Dominaria United. It's the Rona Shieldred's Faithful. So it's. A, a really cool Demir spell slinger deck that we put together here. Super fun, really good time putting this together. Uh, this is in my wheelhouse. I just built the the new Rona from March of the Machines, the one that like flips and does some crazy shenanigans. So when Jen brought this one to the table, I was like, let's let's fucking do it. So we're gonna do that right now. You're gonna see that deck tech. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it over, pass it over to myself, and let's get to the deck tech. Here it is. Hey everybody, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on everybody? Uh, my name is Corey, that's TCG guy. Uh, I'm here with one of my best friends in the biz, I would say. Uh, Jen, how you doing, Jen? Super I'm... excited to be here. Awesome, awesome. Well, welcome. Uh, we're here for another episode of Brewberg. Uh, for those of you who are joining us, you probably know what this is. This is where I hang out with my content creator friends, uh, and we build a deck together on stream. And this portion of it is the deck tech video. So you get to kind of get a little peek as to uh, what we built, how it works, and then, you know, some, uh, some ideas of what cards work really well with the deck. Uh, so anyway, Jen, I'm going to, I'm going to let Jen say hello to everybody before we get started. So Jen, if you'd like to give your, your little, I, I know we did it twice already on the stream, but we're going for a third time here. That's okay. I mean, three times, I got to get it right somewhere. So <laughs> hi, everyone. I am Jen, one half of the Filthy MTG Casuals. You can find me and my husband usually anywhere you can find Filthy MTG Casuals. Um, we are most active on Twitter, and then we try to stream every Saturday on Twitch, 9 a.m. PST. You can also find us on TikTok, generally one video at least once a week. Very cool. I'm I'm trying to break yeah. into that TikTok game too, so I get it. It's uh, it's... I love your videos. No, oh, your videos you. are great. Thank you. It's tough to keep like to to pump stuff out because it's just tough, but uh, it's fun. I like I like your I like your card card of the week videos too. They're really really informative and like there's definitely stuff I've seen there. I was like, oh, I didn't know that existed. So, <clears throat> excuse right. me. Uh, you know, there's the new cards. It's good stuff. Uh, my apologies if I sound a little nasally. My allergies are just tearing me apart today but we're powering through it uh we're gonna finish up the deck tech video and then i'm gonna i'm gonna pass out that's where we're at all right jen what did we uh, what did we build today what do we got we built rona shieldred's faithful we're going with some demir spell slinger which is completely out of my usual realm of deck very cool so what what drew you besides being out of your like your realm of, of deck or maybe that's what what drew you to it what drew you to rona specifically i mean combination of right like i've always wanted to play colors i'm not comfortable with and then with what she does it's something i am very comfortable with so let's play something i like in colors i don't normally play very cool if you if you had to like say what is what is your color pair like where are you the most comfortable in deck, but like what color oh, pairing? Celestia. 100% Celestia. I was going to guess that. You That, that Glunch yep. deck you have is Celestia, right? Yep. Yep. And yep. that's the deck I go for. Like if I'm in a game and I'm like, oh, I'm going to play Glunch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome to the darker side of, of magic with the uh, literally literal darker side of magic. Uh, all right, cool. So, so for those of you who don't know, Rona, Shieldred's Faithful, it is a legendary creature, human wizard. It's a three, four, and it costs one blue and double black. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses a life. So that's out of the gate really good. And then you can cast Rona, Shieldred's Faithful from your graveyard by discarding two cards in addition to paying its other costs. I feel like we didn't really focus on that at all, <laughs> but nope, we did not, but it, it's there, you know, if, if, Somehow she ends up in the graveyard. We have ways of getting her back, which is good. Um, cool. All right. So, how how is this deck trying to win? Like, where what what way did we go to try to get to victory for this one? So victory comes with instants and sorceries and an excessive amount, as well as creatures that are created from instants and sorceries or things that 
I mean, still created from instance and sorceries, I guess, in a roundabout way. And then life sucking. We're sucking life. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, there's there's a lot of cards that create tokens. Um, obviously, Rona herself is is kind of a way for us to try to try to win with draining the table. Um, we like yeah, like you said, there's a lot of uh, there's a, a couple of sneaky little combos with some life drain, life gain kind of situation. Um, and then yeah, all the to like there's a lot of cards that make tokens. Like what do, what do we have? We have the the Chrome Sheet, <laughs> Chrome Host Seed Shark. There you go. Um, yeah. Murmuring Mystic, uh, Talrand. And Shark Typhoon. Yeah, Shark Typhoon, Metallurgic Summonings. Like, there's a ton of ways for us to make tokens. So, I guess worst case, yeah. we can just kind of try to swing in heavy with with cro uh, creature tokens. So, um, yeah, very cool. It's it. When we're building this, like, this deck speaks to me as, like, a Magic player. Like, I really like all the stuff that we have going here, which is good. Uh, and then we have, like, Torment yeah. of Hailfire is in here as a potential win con. Um, Exsanguinate's in here as a potential win con, so there's there's some sneaky stuff in here. It's good. All sneaky right. stuff. Sneaky stuff, indeed. Uh, all right, cool. So, if someone came up to you on the street and they're like, hey, Jen. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the tiny <laughs> hands. I love, oh my god. I love the tiny. I gotta buy some of those so bad. They're just so funny. Uh, they're like, it's like guaranteed comedic gold. Like, you don't need to, you literally just have them on your face, and I geeked out. All right. Anyway, if someone came up to you and they were like, Jen, this deck is incredible. I love it. What are, what are some cards that you would say are like showcase cards for the deck? Like if you had to pick five cards, what are those five cards going to be? Showcase cards. So I'm going to go with Sanguine Bond. I think Sanguine Bond is great because nobody's really going to expect it. Yep. Um, the Tendrils of Agony. I really like it. I really like how well it synergizes. Um, the Mind Splice Apparatus. Um, Exsanguinate. I'll admit it. I like that Exsanguinate's in here. <laughs> yep. Um, and I really like having Tall Rand in here. I, I enjoy yeah. Tall Rand, and I think Tall Rand fits in here really well. And I, I like tokens. Tokens to me yeah. are it's just fun. I feel like people shit on Tall Rand all the time like yes i feel like all the time. he was like a staple <clears throat> excuse me he was a staple in a lot of decks like four or five years ago and now it, he comes in every pre-con and everyone's like ah oh, it's fucking tower man like whatever but he's really good like those drakes are no yeah. joke no nope, so. they really do work i mean it's a, it's a thing that's giving you flyers you know flyers are I'm sorry, Flyers win games. They do. People don't play with enough flying. They don't. Between Talran and Shark Typhoon, like, you're covered in the air. And the Murmuring Mystic. Yeah. The Murmuring Mystic makes birds that yeah, fly. Talran makes drakes that fly. Shark Typhoon makes flying sharks. Like, you're golden. Yep. You're golden. Flying There's... attackers, flying blockers. It's good. There are so many pieces in this deck that, like, just me looking back at them, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's really good. Hmm. That's it. This is this is gonna be. I hope you build this, and if you do, so one of the things Bert and I talked about in the last episode is putting together Brewberg pods like once a month. So like getting yeah. people that built decks together on here to play. I would love to play against this deck. I think that would be super fun. So if you do end up building it in paper, yeah. please let me know so we can schedule a game. Absolutely, hundred percent. I'm definitely gonna build it. Sweet. That much I, I do. I really want to try it out. I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. Uh, one one card that I want to point out really quick before we wrap up here that I think is really cool from the new set, March of the Machines, is this battle that we put in here, the uh, which is the art that's above us right now that you can see, um, Invasion of Archivos. Archivo. I don't know how to say magic card names. Like I'm the worst. But anyway, when it comes to the, when it enters the battlefield. You get to basically tutor for an instant or sorcery from anywhere. I know with Magic, with uh, Commander, excuse me, you can't get stuff outside of the game, which is a clause in here, but you can search your deck or your graveyard for an instant or sorcery and then just put it in your hand. And then the flip side of it, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery from your hand, you can copy it. Like, that's bonkers. That's so that's such a good that. such a good effect in a Spellslinger deck or, or in anything, really. Like, I just think it's really cool. So I, that's one card. Normally, I don't pick a card, but going through these i saw that one and I, I really wanted to shout that one out because a it's new and b it's just a really cool uh really cool addition that works really well with this deck anyway that's that's all that's the only one i wanted to point out um cool all right so it's a good one. It, is, it is very good uh any any final words 
on the deck here. Anything else you want to talk about? Or do you think we pretty much covered covered the whole thing? No, I think that pretty much covers it. I think it's going to be a really solid deck. I think it's not my normal, but I think I'll enjoy it. It's got a lot of the same aspects that I already play. So I yeah. think it's going to be fun. I look forward to playing it and trying it out. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to help you with the deck builds. Uh, this was yeah. this was super fun. And it, like I said, I just finished building the new, the Flip Rona. So I already had the Demir Spell Slinger stuff in my head. So it was uh, I was excited to see that that's what, uh, what you chose. Um, cool. All right. Well, Jen, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for, for being on the stream uh, and staying out a little uh, little extra later to film the deck tech. Much appreciated. Um, like I said, you and uh, you and Donnie are two of my favorite people in the in the business. So I'm going to put all their links in the description in the YouTube video, uh, the description place down below. My brain just shut off. That was, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm going to put their links in the description. Already. So make sure you please go follow them if you're not already. Though I don't know anybody in the magic sphere who isn't already following you guys but in case they're not please go give them a follow um again very uh very appreciative to have you here super excited um anything any goodbyes you want to say I mean, you have to do the whole spiel again but any anything coming up from you guys that you want to like talk about or anything you can talk about anything are you going to any events up. um there is going to be a wonderful event coming up in june um, that we're going to be a part of. So more information on that later. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, we'll let everyone get gut. We'll let everyone. Jesus, my brain is like mush tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cut that part Party out. To go to sleep. I need to. Yeah, I need to check out. All right. We're going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, again, make sure you follow uh, Jen and Donnie with all their links down below. Uh, Make sure I'll put all my stuff down there as well. If you want to, I'll put a link to the rest of the Brewberg deck techs. If you want to check those out as well. Um, I'm going to pass Great it back video. to my, what's that? Good videos. We oh, watched thank them. Thank you. That means a lot. I appreciate that. Um, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to pass it back to myself to do the official outro and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye everybody. All right. There it is. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. This deck was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, I really think I'm going to put, try to put together like a, a Brewberg pod with some of the people that I've done these deck techs with. So we could uh, maybe get our get our eyes and our hands on some of these decks and see how they play out and see how they do. This is definitely one I want to try to see play out. And even if I just watch the stream, like I would love to see this deck kind of just go off and do its thing. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you like it, the deck list is gonna be in the description below. All of Jen and Donnie's links are gonna be in the description below down there. So make sure if you're not already following, which I don't know who isn't, uh, but if you're not, make sure you go give them a follow. They deserve it. They're, they're two of the best people, I think, in the Magic community. They're two of the best hype people in the Magic community. They're constantly in chats. They hang out. They do giveaways. They, they, they're on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok. They're everywhere. And I highly recommend. Uh, I'm a little biased because I, I love these two people. They're two of the best uh, friends I have uh, within Magic and two of the earliest friends I have within like the content creation sphere so uh i am biased but if you're not following them do yourself a favor go follow them and uh yeah that's all i got for you guys as always i have the patreon dollar tier and the five dollar tier the dollar tier gets you a thank you in every single video which you're going to see here in a second and the five dollar tier whenever i got a new sticker or you know a little trinket or doodad uh, i'll send one over to you uh, i'm trying to work on something right now with a buddy of mine maybe you'll see that soon we'll see uh, keep your eyes peeled and uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video, uh, which is going to be Benji the Brewer, I believe is going to be in the next one. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Peace.